sa kaduwaan at sorpresa na hatid ng RMN Barangay Yay! May kantahan at sayawan na open for all Sa darating na July 13 Kung ikaw ay mahilig sa kantahan o sayawan Ilabas na ang pinakatatago mong talent Sa video okay contest At matihataw na sa dance contest with your barkada Bukas sa lahat At kung maswerte ka sa mga palaro Tara! Sali na! Magdala ng kahit remote, flashlight, laruan O kahit anong kagamitan na mayroong ever-ready batteries May iba't ibang games na pwedeng Salihan. Akala mo tapos na? Hindi pa! Abangan mo rin ang RMN at Ever Ready Team na lilibot sa balot tundo dahil ikaw, ikaw na mismo ang maswerteng makakakuha ng instant prize. Mag-ipon lamang ng kagamitan na may Ever Ready Battery at ipresenta sa mismong araw ng RMN Barangay Yay! Bukod pa dyan, may special gift pack pa kapag nasagot ang extra bonus question mula sa Ever Ready. Kaya mga nanay, tatay, mga kaibigan at best friend, kita kits sa Barangay 129 Covered Court, Balot Tundo. Alas 10 ng umaga hanggang alas 6. Handog sa inyo ng RMN, DZXL at Ever Ready sa bawat pamilya, saan man, kailanman, Ever Ready for Life. RMN Barangay Yay! Yehey sa saya, yehey sa surpresa. See ya! When there's a wish, your heart believes. Don't you wish my white rose coaching whitening soap ka na? Ang wish mo, nandito na. Sa Gaisano Supermarkets, Super 8 Grocery, South Star Drug Stores, and selected Robinson Supermarkets. Ito na ang coaching wish come true mo. White rose. Para sa Kojik na Butik, Kojik na Kinis. White Rose Kojik Whitening Soap, manufactured by ACS Manufacturing Corporation. ISO certified, world-class quality. ACS! Businessman? Husband? Father? Hi, I'm Sherman Katera. And yes, I can be M Extraordinary at being all three with MX3. Dito na ako sa MX3. Tested and proven na my alpha, beta, and gamma mangosteen that keeps me going with my healthy lifestyle. Yes, I am all three every day because I am MX Extraordinary with MX3. Mahalagang paalala, ang MX3 capsule ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin pang gamot sa anumang uri ng sakit. Mula sa number one na smart dishwashing paste, ang galing, galing mo. With over 80% more cleaning power kaysa leading liquid brand, sa presyong mas abot kaya. Oh, smart, ang galing, galing mo. May double tanggaling formula. Tanggal galing ang sebo at bakterya. Oh, smart, ang galing. Dishwashing, tanggaling galing. ACS Smart Dishwashing, manufactured by ACS Manufacturing Corporation. ISO certified, world class quality. Narito ang isang patunay ng sarap at bisa ng Nature Soya Coffee. Ako si Jackie Mercado, nakakaramdam ako ng kabag tuwing umaga at lalo na sa gabi. Pero simula nung uminom na ako ng Nature Soya Coffee, nawala ito. Kape mo ng kafe, Nature Soya Coffee. Mabibili sa mga suking budika. Mahalagang paalala, ang Nature Soya Coffee ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin pang gamot sa anumang uri ng sakit. Pare! Pare! May bago! Anong bago? Emperador Double Light! Emperador Double Light? Oo! oo. Pag natikman daw... Ano daw pag natikman? Doble suabe! Doble suabe? Doble sarap! Doble sarap! Oo! oo. Tikman natin! Tikman natin! Tikman ang bagong Emperador Double Light with imported brandy. Doble suabe! Doble sarap! Yeah. Grabe bro! Sarap ito ba? Sabi sa'yo, di ba? Drink responsibly. Tikman ang bagong Emperador Double Light. Doble suabe, doble sarap. Drink responsibly. Mapalad ang mga gumagawa ng paraan para sa kapayapaan. Sapagkat sila'y ituturing ng mga anak ng Diyos. Mateo Kabanata 5, Talata Siyam. Ang mabuting balita ay hatid sa inyo ng MX3. Sarah Heronimo po, daddy ko, labo ng mata. Sinama ko siya sa EO, Executive Optical for Expert Eye Care. Nung binigay yung salamin ni daddy, sabi ng optometrist, I care for you, sir. Si daddy, kinilig. I care for you, daddy. EO Executive Optical, love your eyes. 
If you love your eyes, come visit EO Executive Optical today for expert eye care with over 100 branches nationwide to serve you. EO has been voted by consumers as a Reader's Digest Trusted Brand 2016 Platinum Awardee. Inuman na kasama ang tropa. Huwag kalimutan ang kapitan ng inuman. Gin Kapitan, sarap ng init at hagod na kayang-kayang kapitan. Para sa tropang walang iwanan. Kapit, kapit lang! Gin Kapitan, kayang-kaya mo yan. Drink responsibly. Pagdating sa pagpili ng battery, dun tayo sa always ready. Sa battery brand na may napatunayan na ng higit isang daang taon. Dito tayo sa ever ready. May lakas na tumatagal sa oras ng pangangailangan. Kaya't mapagkakatiwalaan ng bawat pamilya saan man, kailanman. Sa kalidad na talaga, sulit! Ever ready for life! Parami na ng parami ng parami ang guminhawa sa Santong Plus Herbal Capsule. Ako po si Jonalyn Almazan Mamugay. Gumagamit po ako ng Santon Plus. Laking pasasalamat ko po kasi maganda po ang naibibigay nito sa aking katawan. Mabibili sa inyong mga suking butika. Mahalagang paalala, ang Santon Plus Herbal Capsule ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin pang gamot sa namang uri ng sakit. Unbeatable ang shield laban sa germs that cause amoy pawis versus another brand. May Shea Butter Moisturizer pa sa presyong abot kaya. Kaya recommended ng Philippine Nurses Association. Shield Bad Soap sa buong antibacterial. Shield Bad Soap amoy pawis ay tanggal. With regular use, shield galit sa sakit may malasaki. Shield Bath Soap, manufactured by ACS Manufacturing Corporation. ISO certified, world class quality. ACS Ang mga nagnanasang yumaman ay nahuhulog sa tukso at nasisilo sa bitag ng masasama at mga hangal na hangarin na nagtutulak sa kanila sa kamatayan at kapahamakan. Unang liham kay Timoteo, Kabanata 6, Talata siya. Ang mabuting balita ay hatid sa inyo ng MX3. DZXL 558 RMN Manila Extra Large Sa serbisyo publiko At mga kasama Balik ko tayo sa Ating nga programang Pimental Reports Kasama pa rin po natin si former Senate President Attorney Aquilino Nene Pimental Tay Nene Yes, oo oh, oh, Lord mm-hmm. Nesha ta, Pagpatuloy natin yung mga punto ni Uh, at, ang mm-hmm. guest, at, ang, at ang presidente po Opo, ang presidente po ng Parhimpunan Sin Islam Islam IC Society of the Philippines Chairman Muslim Federal Movement Na si former Tawi-Tawi Governor Altila Yes, uh, Governor number one Kanina sabi ko uh, Nasa ano na tayo eh Nasa transition period yes, sa yes. Arm to barm to barm Kumusta ho yung transition team? Uh, so far, uh, yung mga mechanics of implementation as into, into place. Um, the first um, phase was the appointment of the Bangsamoro Transition Authority members. Parang parliament natin yun. Eh, tapos na yata yun. And they are now organizing you know, the different ministries. Kasi parliamentary structure mm-hmm. yun, eh, no? I had occasion to sit down with our brother, mm-hmm. uh, ch- the Chief Minister uh, mm-hmm. Murad, no? si Brother Murad, and I gave him my first unsolicited advice mm-hmm. to harness the best and the brightest among the Muslims. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 Kinunan din po kayo ng opinion na yes, yes. mga possible na pwede yes, natin yes. hugutin. Oh, oh, okay, oh. Then, uh, as I told him, this was the same advice uh, I Uh, availed uh, then regional governor uh, chairman of the MLF Nur Mizwari mm-hmm. before he assumed as governor of the arm mm-hmm. so because harness the best and the brightest mm-hmm. so uh, I think if they followed that advice uh, 50% at least of the task would have been done with uh, uh, Meron po bang posisyon na inalok din po sa inyo? No, I, uh, I decided uh, to Meron pero hindi niyo po tinanggap? Uh, well, uh, I was sounded off but I uh, was uh, always a volunteer to help no? and uh, sabi ko sa kanila na I'm just a text uh, or a call away, away. <laughs> uh, kasi kailangan mag-succeed na itong Opo. todo ng uh, farm no? kasi uh, 
what is there if it fails? No? Mm-hmm. So all of us are in this boat, mm-hmm. and we have to have this boat sailing. Yes. No? And, smooth uh, sailing. Smooth. Yeah. Na. Oh. Oh. So, uh, nakinig naman si Brother Murad, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, we are supposed to meet after the 7th of July, and uh, that we will have a one-on-one uh, discussion uh, in his office. Okay. Uh, ano po yung impact nito sa international Muslim community? Well, you see, uh, that's a very good question, Rudes, because all these agreements uh, from day one, from Tripoli to Jeddah, then the Jakarta, Manila Accord, was under the auspices of the Organization of Islamic yes, Countries, yeah. now Conference and uh, renamed uh, cooperation no? mm-hmm. and it was the moral suasion of the Islamic world this is the mini United Nations of the Islamic world no? that brought in the MLF to the autonomy discussion mm-hmm. and accepted autonomy as the formula mm-hmm. from independence Malayone, mm-hmm. okay. to uh, autonomy and uh, I hope uh, the OIC is harnessed mm-hmm. as uh, was done before and uh, the good offices of the OIC can, you know, uh, open a lot of doors for the BARM now, no? Because most of these countries, 57, 57 uh, Muslim countries, most of them are oil producing. Uh, we can go into trade, Gold. investments, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, overseas contract workers are all over these areas, no? So if we have very good relations, effective, meaningful uh, uh, relations with the OIC, it can open really doors, not only for mm-hmm. the bar, but for our country. Pero meron po bang, yung mga ganyan po na pagbabago, ano po, sa mga lugar na alam nating naging yes. marahas, uh-huh. tapos ililipat yes. sa, para maging peaceful, maayos, may support ako bang nakukuha yan sa mga malalaking Muslim countries? That's what uh, we intend to harness, then uh, that is the advice I've given uh, our president, the only president from Mindanao, uh, by the road, no? Uh, sabi ko sa kanya, yung Islamic world has a commitment to the Muslims of ah, our country. Mm-hmm. And we number more than 10 million now. Uh, and if we are able to uh, uh, get them involved with us, especially in the socio-economic you know, development of that part of Mindanao, mm-hmm. at least yung the resources, uh, we, we don't have really so much resources no, in mm-hmm. our country. So yung kung ano nandoon uh, allocated, may ilagay natin na yung iba sa ibang regions na nangailangan ng tulong. Mm-hmm. So because uh, the Islamic world would just be too willing to help. Mm-hmm. No? So uh, up to today, I don't see any meaningful, substantial involvement yet of the OIC. Uh, siguro inaantay po talaga yung fully uh, organized, organized na yung uh, barm. Uh, that's Mahirap why, naman uh, tumakisaw-saw sila sa transition period. Uh, that's why as the uh, special presidential envoy to the Organization of Islamic Confederation, oh. this is the third year I'm appointed by the president, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, sana na isulong talaga oh. yung... Pero sa experience yun naman, hindi naman ho nagiging uh, pabaya at hindi naman po nangiiwan din yung organic... Hindi, hindi. Uh, oh. They're just uh, waiting uh, to find out how... Uh, they will be involved mm-hmm. in what area and all that and uh, they'll just be too willing to help mm-hmm. as they have done in the past mm-hmm. from Marcos to today. Mm-hmm. Okay, sabi niyo kanina, nag-usap na ho ba kayo? Or, yes, yes. Uh, ano po yung mga napag-usapan? Uh, una-una, uh, yun na nga, sabi ko, harness the best and the brightest, no? And uh, he... Uh, May fund po bang nilatag? May pondo ho bang pinag-usapan doon? Well, uh, the... Uh, the BARM is uh, given an allocation yearly, uh, 60 billion, you know. Uh, Sapat ba yun? Well, uh, I think um, okay na yan for a start. Uh, they just have to manage it effectively and uh, mm-hmm. properly, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, then people empowerment uh, is very important. Transparency. Mm-hmm. Of course, accountability is very important mm-hmm. so that hindi tayo babalik to square one, no? Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, Brother Murad, the Chief Minister, uh, is receptive naman and as a matter of fact, he texted me, just want to 
that he, he can see me, we can meet uh, after July 7. Mm. So I'll be flying uh, over to uh, Cotabato Mm-mm-mm. for that uh, one-on-one meeting with him and, of course, with the members of his cabinet. No, maybe. Oh, oh, by next week, next possible. Week, yeah. And pagbalik ko, siguro I can report to you. Yes, yes. Oh, and important- update you about uh, oh, my oh, meeting oh, with uh, Brother oh. Murad. Oh, importante ho yun kasi part pa ho yun ang transition to oh, you. Oh, oh. Oo, hindi ho magagawa lang ng isang Muslim yes, leader yes. yung pagbabago na yan kung Totoo, sabi yes. nga nila kung kayo-kayo lang nag-uusap. <coughs> diba? Anyway, um, ano pa ho yung mga nais po ninyong ipabatid, ipaalam sa ating mga kababayan, particular yung mga taga Mindanao? Oh, importante rito, uh, okay na yung arm then mm-hmm. we graduated to BARM, no? but as I said earlier, yung federal system really must be in place. No? Uh, I organized the Muslim federal movement uh, more than a year ago and uh, ito isusulong namin now in 1984 we organized the Muslim Federal Party we were one of the first groups if not the first group that really It's espoused a group? Oh, okay. in, in 1984 pero it became more ribbon because our former leaders made the rest in peace Speaker po tempore sa Lipana Pendato ng Cotabato, uh, Senat, uh, Senator uh, Dumuka Olont of uh, Lanao, ay yung mga elders namin, uh, the leader statesman of the Muslim communities. I happen to be the Deputy Secretary General at that time. Mm-hmm. So, ni-revive ko ito as a Muslim federal movement for now. And hopefully, uh, after uh, maayos na ito, and we'll now have the federal system, we now have the Muslim Federal Party so that we can participate effectively. Okay, Governor, no? uh, going back again doon sa yes. usapin po ng kapayapaan because eh, yan naman talaga ang atikain. Tama yun. Opo, yung pinakadahilan kung bakit uh, ito ay ginawa ng gobyerno. Mm-hmm. O, ang uh, BARM because uh, talagang naghahanap sila ng mabisang solusyon Tama sa yan. problema po ng uh, kapayapaan sa iilang lugar lang naman Tama dyan yan. sa Mindanao. Hindi naman lahat uh-huh. apektado sa usapin po ng uh, kapayapaan. Pero uh, mukhang china-challenge pa rin eh yung kakayahan Tama. Opo, Tama. Diba, dito sa ilalim ng ng BARM especially yes. sa usapin ng extremism. Correct. correct. Opo. Hmm. So ano po ang ano po hagbang din ngayon uh, na ginagawa po ng mga namumuno ngayon sa BARM sa usapin po ng extremism especially nito yes. mga nakaraang uh, buwan yes. Yes. Uh, sinasabi nga ng AFP e mukhang suicide bomber. Opo, ah, ang uh, involved doon sa mga nangyayaring uh, pagsabog uh, sa loob ng simbahan, sa kampo mismo ng militar, opo, at uh, mayroon silang mga nakikita rito na mukhang uh, ito ay mga Pilipino opo, na gumagawa na ngayon ng ganitong klaseng mga paraan. Opo, uh, Ina, iniaalay nila mismo yung kanilang sarili which is dati wala naman tayong mga naririnig na may mga incident ng, ng suicide bombing opo I want to address that uh, Rod uh, Ludes first no? uh-huh. uh, if you go back in history students of history no? uh-huh. uh, what the Taosug especially was famous for no? uh-huh. and of course the Muslims in general uh-huh. itong tinatawag nila Horimentado uh-huh. You wala, run your shirt and all that. Now, when, mm. But when you go into that, you even ask the uh, permission of your imam or your, the highest priest there and all that. No, mm-hmm. uh, It is uh, a, a well-guided kind of, you know, mm-hmm. uh, activity. No? Mm-hmm. Okay. So from the Spanish conquistadores to the American period and even of late a republic, mm-hmm. uh, yung tinatawag nila horimentado. Mm-hmm. No? Now, Um, itong suicide bombing is something new. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I know from way back up to today, eh, walang Muslim Nagagawa. Filipino na naggagawa ng ganyan. Uh-huh. So, I think this issue must be thoroughly uh, uh-huh. investigated and addressed. Uh, 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 no? uh, Governor, it's politically motivated? We, we don't know. Uh, uh-huh. So, that's, it has to be thoroughly investigated and mm-hmm. validated. No? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Kasi wala naman tausog na magpasabog ng sarili niya. Uh-huh. Or a Muslim in Sulu magpasabog ng sarili niya. No? Uh-huh. Uh, well, it 
has happened in the Middle East, in some countries, Uh-oh. but not in, uh, the in the Philippines, moreover in Mindanao, or specifically in Sulu. No? So, kailangan yun <coughs> i-investigate mabuti, validate. Uh, mm-hmm. Let us not come up with immediate uh, from the hip statements no? of the cop na suicide bombing yun or suicide bombing yan. Investigate Uh-oh. natin ng husto before we come up with una conclusion uh, say proof about Uh-oh. it no second or even first we have to address the root causes Uh-oh. ano bang root cause ng tao na mag- maging desperate or a group of people become Uh-oh. that desperate Uh-oh. we have to address those and uh, yun ang i-address natin yun ang lagyan natin ng solution not the after effect of an act Uh-oh. but the root cause of an act Uh-huh. And uh, then nagkukulang malaki ang gobyerno natin noon pa hanggang ngayon. Uh-huh. They never really address the root causes of the Muslim uh, you know, cause for rebellion. Uh-huh. Uh, pag meron, hindi todo, hindi total. Uh-huh. Now, uh, that's why I gave some prescriptions even to our president. I sent him more than a dozen of proposals and some already he mentioned but not yet implemented by uh-huh. the agencies. No? Like the barter trade, for instance. Livelihood yan, uh, Rod, uh, mm-hmm. Lourdes. Mm-hmm. During the time of Aquino, si Cory, they cut this barter trade. And mm-hmm. you know, this per- particular activity was able to have our children go to school, mm-hmm. to very good universities all over the country. Mm-hmm. And uh, Holo was a flourishing economy. Mm-hmm. Pag cut yung barter trade, they, wala na. And they did not have any countermeasure for it. Mm-hmm. So I went to see Joe Concepcion. This is a good uh, you know, mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. So that itong administration will be reminded. Uh-oh. So I, jo, I saw Joe Concepcion. I don't know if he's still alive today. He said, uh, The why brother did you, na lang yung alam. Yeah, why did you cut, sabi ko, ano, yung barter trade? Mm-mm. Well, uh, I, he was not convinced with the reasons put forward. So then I asked him, Do you have any countermeasure for this? How will you address the those displacers of this uh, economic main economic activity of the Muslims? Wala. Mm-mm. I left his office without even uh, saying goodbye. That's Uh-oh. how disappointed I was, mm-hmm. and that was one of the reasons why I left the Aquino administration. Uh-oh. Now, uh, I presented this as one of the formula for social economic development of Uh-oh. the Muslim South, and the president already mentioned about this, but. Uh, hindi pa nakita ako ito implemented. And uh-huh. he has, uh, what, uh, half of his, what's done? Less, less than three years now. Mm-mm. So, sana itong mga members of the cabinet who are tasked to do this, no, mm-hmm. the halal program, there are a number of things that I sent the president. In, in fairness, the president announced it. And he must have, uh, you know, directed the mm-hmm. members of the uh, cabinet no, mm-hmm. who are supposed to be tasked with this. Pero hindi pa nakikita ko yan on the ground. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, al- alive ba naman po, boy? So, rhetorics mm-hmm. must be matched with action. Mm-hmm. Hindi oh, pwede yung rhetorics. Oh, oh, oh. Otherwise, we'll be going back to okay. where we oh, have oh, been. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, oh. Pero, sa tingin ninyo, uh, sinong grupo? E, ito ba yung grupo lang from Mindanao na against... Uh, kasi may hindi lahat pabor sa barme eh. Oh, well, uh, uh-huh. d- during the uh, or... Bangsamoro Organic Law plebiscite, uh-huh. the Sulu group, uh, the Sulu province specifically, was uh, not in favor uh-huh. no, of the uh, local government uh, officials uh-huh. no, headed by the governor, Sakutan, then of course uh, Chairman Miswari was not in favor of the BARM. Uh-huh. Kasi ang tingin nila, para sa mga maginda na lang ito, uh-huh. now, no? But anyway, it's already in place. Mm-mm. And sa akin naman, as a, um, as a peace advocate, I always go for the, in the line of, or in the road of peace. No? Eh, hindi pa naman nasubukan natin. Nasubukan natin na ang arm. Eh, subukan natin ito. Mm-mm. And under the new leadership of the MLF chairman, uh-huh. <coughs> Chief Minister uh, uh, Bader Murad, no? eh, nabibigyan natin naman ang MLF uh, about what? Uh, 20, 30 years. Yes. Huh? So, uh-huh. <coughs> tingnan natin, baka dito tayo mag-succeed. Mm. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, Governor, for mm. clarification, uh, yes. active pa naman si Sir Joe Concepcion. I'm happy. Uh-huh. Uh, pa, uh, sana magkita know. pa rin kayo ano, mm. para mapag-usapan yung mga and, additional na pwede makakatulong sa board. Yes, and he should, if he's still um, uh, very much active, he should help us uh, isulong itong barter trade mm. because it was a failure under the Aquino administration. 
they failed to you know to uh, implement this mm -hmm. they even terminated the uh, the uh, the train uh -huh. and that displaced many of our people all over Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Ano po yung mensahe sa ating mga tagapakinig na mukhang hindi po nauunawaan pa rin bakit kinakailangan gal gawing BARM yung arm dyan po sa Mindanao? Uh, alam ninyo ho, <clears throat> itong mga government prescriptions are products of the war situation in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. Ang Muslim South, pangkaraniwang region yan. Uh, kaya yung mga formula na isinusulong dyan are uniquely, peculiarly Muslim mm -hmm. and Mindanao-based. So, uh, kasi naiwan na masyado na matagal ang mga kapatid natin Muslim dyan sa mm -hmm. national society, especially in socio-economic development. Kaya nga, from the time of the late President Marcos in deference to today, na-recognize na yan, the historic injustice done the Muslims. Uh, so, uh, parang this is a way the government is apologizing and doing something about it. No? Mm -hmm. And under a Mindanao president, and I'm very still hopeful up to today, he still has uh, three years okay. under his watch. No? Sana maisulong na lahat yan. Mm -hmm. The barter trade must be in place. Mm -hmm. The halal industry must be in place. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, this is a multi-billion industry. Wow. And that alone, itong budget trade lang at yung hala industry, buhay na buhay na road. Ah, Lourdes, okay. mm -hmm. ang Muslim South, and even the rest of Mindanao. Uh -huh. okay. Now, uh, not to mention <coughs> the specific industries we have there, the sewage industry, that's the sunrise industry, mm -hmm. fruit, you know, in Sulu, uh, you drop a seed, it grows, you know. Mm -hmm. you can, uh, up to now, we don't have processing plants. Mm -hmm. We don't have canning for all of these things in okay. the South. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, we have too much rhetoric with action. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, ang appeal ko sa Madla, mm -hmm. uh, I'm a Muslim, as Nene has put it, but I'm also a Filipino. Uh -huh. And I go for unity in diversity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, but unity in diversity must be back up or battles with justice. Okay. So, kailangan yung mga kapatid natin, Kristiyano, mm -hmm. sa buong Pilipinas, makaintindi ang situation ng mga okay. Muslim brothers right. natin. So that we, mm -hmm. finally, will be one in terms mm -hmm. of may sulong natin yung uh, unity of this country. All right, Thank you very much, Governor uh, Altila. <coughs> At siya pong chairman din ng Islamic Society of the Philippines Muslim Federal Movement. All right. Bye, Nene. Oh, napakaganda yung mga punto ni Al. Hindi lang political, pero socio-economic development. Sapagkat yun ang makatulong sa pamumuhay ng ating mga kapatid. Hindi lang mga Muslim, kundi sa buong Pilipinas. Pa, uulat tayo kung ganun ang pananaw na uh, pinapoint out ni Governor Al sila. Salamat, Al. Salamat din, eh. God bless uh, our country and people. At sa inyo din, Lourdes at sa Karol. Thank okay. you very much. Maraming salamat, former Senate President Attorney Aquilino Nene Pimentel. Until next Sunday, maraming yeah. salamat to at uh, may uh, additional na update sa atin si Governor yes. Altila. After Thank my meeting with the Chairman <laughs> Murat. All right. Sige, salamat. Maraming salamat. Mga kasama ko si Rajuman Lourdes Escaro. At uh, salamat din ulit kay uh, Tatay uh, Pepe Pestaño dyan po sa my Philip Sanctuary. Uh, sa mga prutas na pinadala at uh, kay uh, Nanay Nene din Pestanio at sa lahat po ng ating mga suki dyan sa My Philip Sanctuary. Kung wala po kayong ginagawa, may abalak po kayong mag-outing, bisitahin nyo po ang Philip Sanctuary. Dyan lang po yan sa May Antipolo para sa karagdagang impormasyon mamaya pakinggan ninyo ang commercial namin. Uh, dyan sa My Philip Sanctuary. Radyo Manrod, Marcelino! Sa mga nangyayari sa ating bayan ngayon, paano nyo